Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a very useful tool within Metasys that will allow you to view very key points in multiple controllers within one display screen and that uh, tool is known as the summary definitions. You should probably have a folder at the top of your system labeled summary definitions and that's where we're going to create a uh, one to show you some of the steps and how this thing works. It is a very powerful tool so we're just going to go up to our insert screen we're going to add a summary definition and we want to label this something that is very familiar to us you can actually use a summary definition for multiple controllers multiple devices such as uh, various air handlers in different buildings, uh, VAVs and that sort of thing. So you create one summary definition and you can use it multiple times over. We're simply going to create one uh, called air handler summary which will pull key points from all of the air handlers in an entire building uh, into one display. That way we can kind of get a brief overview of exactly what's going on in our system. Now, when we come into this window, we are given the option of naming this particular summary definition. I suggest naming it something just kind of generic. Uh, that way you can use it in multiple buildings. And here in the field, this first field here where the cursor is, this is where we will actually label the particular column of what we're going to be displaying. We're simply going to put in... Uh, just a very generic name for the occupancy of the uh, air handlers and now in the second field we're actually going to tell this exactly what to look for in each of the controllers so what we will do is click this gray box just to the right and it will bring our network tree up from your network tree simply drill down into one of your devices and go into the controller that is similar to the ones that you're going to be pulling in like we're going to be doing air handlers in this one so we simply drop down the tree then drop down the points of the air handler and go down to the specific control point that you want to be displayed in this summary and for this one the occupancy schedule right there so we highlight that select OK and then we will delete out a portion of this that we do not need what you want to do is you want to only use portions of the name that are common to multiple controllers so we just highlight that delete it out and we're going to replace that with an asterisk and we put one at the beginning and we also put one over at the end now when you get into setting up a lot of these summary definitions it might be a great time for you to go through the extra effort and standardize the naming on the points within your system you can add multiple similar points to the same field and the system will generally try to interpret what it thinks you want and it does a fairly good job at doing that however if you have the names throughout your system standardized it will make it much more efficient in trying to identify exactly what you want you can see here that this second point that I've added is very similar to the first in fact we could actually get away with using what we already have in there to pull the points from this air handler. This is from a different building. It is a completely different controller, but uh, it would, this definition, uh, summary definition, would actually pull all of those points in and display them for you. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to find one that is just a little bit different and kind of show you exactly what we're talking about as far as adding multiple points to one field so I'm also going to add in 
an additional field here where I can pull in discharge temperature or just whatever I would like. Zone temperature, there's a wide range. You can pull just pretty much any point into this that you want. We're just going to pull in the discharge temperature for an example. And this is a very simple one. A lot of the controllers already have this particular point standardized. It's usually just uh, the DA-T, but uh, you also, uh, where is that point at? Let's go down to a different controller. And not what I'm looking for. Okay. We will grab that here. We simply hit OK. Now what we need to do is come back here and just like we did before, we need to delete out what we do not need that is not common to the uh, controller, to all the controllers. So there is one point that we've added. Let's look and see if there's another one that might work well also. We'll grab that one. You can see that it's populated it in there. And, you know, once again, it's pretty much the same as the first one. We can delete out the uh, what isn't common to all of the controllers. And, uh, you know, we could use delete that whole thing. And, you know, like I say, this one would work uh, for, multiple, for multiple controllers. So, you know, we'll just delete that out completely. Uh, you can add several fields, I believe up to eight fields, to a summary definition. So you can put in fan status you can put in just you know various points that you might find helpful in viewing when uh, looking at a building so we'll just throw a few more generic ones in here just to kind of fill up the space in each of your fields the one thing that you need to be careful of is when you insert an additional point into each of the fields you need to make sure that there's a comma separating those and you can see here how many that we can actually add to a summary definition it does limit you on the number of fields that you can add now then let's go into our system and actually look at one of these that is already set up so I'm just going to cancel out of here and let's see the way that you will add it to your system is of course using the user view if you edit the user view within your system simply add a folder under the building that you are working on and just call it summary definitions uh, you know or VAV summaries or AHU summaries and here we have one that we created earlier that uh, is already added to this folder in the user view now once we have this in our folder we simply go up and add a reference and what we do is drill down into the particular building device that uh, we want we're gonna go down to Let's see, a little bit further. And what we're going to do once we get down here is we're going to highlight the individual controller. Not an individual point in that controller, but the whole controller itself. So that way the summary definition will actually look into that controller and then it will search for the particular fields that you have entered, the particular points that you've entered in your fields. And once you have your air handlers highlighted or whatever you're adding, you simply add those to the user view. Once you save that, and let's look at what it does. Of course, before you see any changes on your user view, you always have to do a refresh all by clicking in the upper blue area of your display and doing a refresh all tabs. Now then, let's go down and have a look at what our summary definition does for us. Here is the folder right here where we have created the summary definition. So we're going to pull that whole folder over into our display. And it may take it a minute to populate. 
depending on how many controllers you're pulling in. But here we are. We can see over in the far left, we have the particular air handler name. We have the current state of the system, whether it's occupied or unoccupied. We're looking at the discharge temp, uh, static pressure. We can tell what our cooling and heating valves are doing. We can see that the fans are running, uh, what the VFDs are running at percentage-wise. So this is a very, very powerful tool that can really help speed up the process of checking over your buildings. Here you can see that we have a few points in this particular summary definition and how that, uh, you know, there are little differences within how these points are, but the uh, summary definition can interpret and pull the particular points that uh, you want. And you can see some of the particulars about this. You know, there are a few different controllers that we use uh, this summary definition with, but it works great. You know, it, it's really helpful to be able to look at an entire building, air handlers, a set of air handlers. And here we have one where we have all of our VAVs separated by the floor. First, second, and third floor for this particular building. I can pull over this one folder that has all of the first floor VAVs on it. And of course, it takes it a minute to populate, but here we are. I can look at exactly what is happening on an entire floor with uh, one screen. You know, I, mean, I can t tell you what boxes are occupied. I can see what the discharge temp of those boxes is at. The zone temps, I mean, it's just a whole lot of information right here in this. You'll notice that some of these devices are showing just a little dash where like the discharge temperature and the reheat position would be on these. The reason for that is these particular VAVs are cooling only. They do not have a reheat valve and they do not have a discharge air temp sensor. As you can see, by right-clicking any of the controllers, you can view the uh, remaining points within that controller. And it, uh, you know, it clearly shows you here there's nothing, you know, that's why it doesn't populate those. It does not exist the way that it does on these. We can see here that we have a reheat valve, we have a discharge air temp sensor, and that's why it populated. Anything that it can interpret, it will simply leave blank. And uh, it's still, it's a very powerful tool. Now, another thing you can do in this is you can also do multiple commanding. You can, uh, by one point or by one of the uh, heads, the column here, the top of the column, you can simply right click on that point at the very top, your label here. You right click that and you can command every one of those points underneath it. Right now, just to show you what I'm to show you what I'm talking about here, I'm going to override all of these reheat valves. When I hit the send button, what it will do is every one of these controllers will be overridden on the reheat valves to 100%. It takes a few minutes to go out to each of these controllers and put the override on, but if you're trying to troubleshoot an entire building, if you're, uh, you know, just whatever you need it to do, if you're trying to bring up an entire floor for occupancy or that sort of thing, it's very, very helpful. You know, one point, one command, and I've overridden an entire floor. It will pop up this little screen here. It will tell you how if it was successful on communicating with all the controllers and that sort of thing. And here you can see the color change on these. You can see that it's clearly overridden. And then you simply go back in, and when you do a release, it will release all of those commands at once. Uh, of course, it'll go to each controller. It'll take it a few minutes, you know, to uh, go back out to each of the controllers but you know, there again, just a just one command, and you have commanded everything that is under that uh, summary, that particular summary. So it is a very, very powerful, a very useful tool for viewing your system. It really helps keep things simplified, and it's it's just a real, real nice tool. Now you can see here. Let's show you something else about this one. 
the way that we have some areas, you can actually break them up by the uh, location. Like if you have, uh, you know, one area that, you know, with multiple VAVs that serves, you know, a bookstore or, you know, other areas, you can also create summaries like this one here, which this is kind of a troubleshooting summary that we have done. I've got all of the VAVs that are served by a particular air handler. So if we're trying to check flow to see the capacity of uh, an area as far as what the air handler is doing compared to the VAVs, we can look at this one summary and I can see everything that's underneath that air handler, all the VAVs that are served by that air handler. You can see here this one is quite complex in the multiple points that it uh, has pulled in. And once again, if you standardize a lot of the naming in your system, this is something that uh, you're not really going to have to do. It makes it much easier, a little neater, and uh, it's just it, it's useful. I know I've said that probably a hundred times. It can also, if you have an issue in any particular area, like here, we have an alarm on that VAV. We have a uh, you know zone temp sensor that has failed, so that's something that we'll have to look at. But uh, you know, it's it's a very powerful tool. It's good for troubleshooting. Uh, and they're not that difficult to set up, as you have seen in this video. Uh, you know, I can go in, if I don't get all the information that I need for a particular controller, I can view into that controller. But anyways, guys, I hope this video is uh, helpful to you. If it is, drop me a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. <laughs>